Namaste students today we are going to read the poem The School Boy by William Blake This is poem The School Boy is a poem written in the pastoral tradition and focuses on the downsides of formal learning it considers how going to school on a summer day drives all joy away the boy in this poem is more interested in escaping his classroom than he is with anything his teacher is trying to teach the main theme is sorrow that the boy feels having to go to school when he wants to enjoy summer he has the obligation to go to close a space but he wants to go outside another theme is nature the freedom that it represent for the boy and the operation of the class i love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree the distant huntsman winds his horn and the sky lark sing with me Oh what sweet company but to go to school in summer morn oh it drives all joy away under a cruel eye outworn the little ones spend the day in sighing in dismay ah then at times i drooping sit and spend many an anxious hour nor in my book can i take delight nor sit in learning bower worn through with a dreary shower how can the bird that is born for joy sit in the cage and sing how can a child when fear annoy and droop his tender wing and forget his youthful spring oh father and mother if buds are nipped and blossoms blown away and if the tender plants are stripped or of their joy in the springing day by sorrows and care dis to me destined this may how shall the summer arise in joy or the summer fruits appear Here is the first stanza. I love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree. The distant huntsman winds his horn and the skylark sings with me. Oh, what sweet company! Skylark is a type of bird found chiefly in Eurasia and sings very beautiful songs when he uh, it flies high. The speaker in the poem is a young boy who is. joyful and likes to awake in fresh morning and delightful summer morning he wants to enjoy this morning further describing the beauty of the summer morning the boy likes the cripping of the birds on every tree and the sound of horn blown by blown by the hunter from a distant field and sweet songs of skylark bird but to go to school in summer morn but to go to school in summer morn oh it drives all joy away under a cruel eye out worn a little one once spend the day in singing sighing and dismay it is a matter of utmost disappointment for the speaker to attend the school in such a sweet summer morning dismay means distress where actually he wishes to enjoy the delight of summer he is tired and even puzzled under the strict supervision of his teacher the phrase out one refers the eyes of the teacher that actually tries the boy tires the boy instead of enjoying the pleasure of summer the child has to compulsory attend at the school where he spends dismay his day his boredom and sadness so totally child these two stanzas tells us that poet describes the delight of waking up to the birds singing and what a marvelous way this is to start the day however contrast with verse one by one describing how worries the school boy is to be at school and how the thought of his the thought of his stops his happiness immediately and this school boy don't want to go to school he want to enjoy the summer morning ah then at times i dropping drooping sit and spend many an anxious hour nor in my book can i take delight nor sit in learning bow worn through with a dreary shower how can the bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing how can a child when fears annoy but droop his tender wing and forget his youthful spring drooping bending down heavily and dreary means depressingly dull or bleak the child says that the child expresses his tiredness he sits unwillingly in the sea of boredom the child keeps under control an attack on him by the harsh personality of the teacher this is the child emotional feeling 
that he is feeling bored in his class just because he want to enjoy the summer morning and the unnecessary lectures of his teacher and his urge for unchecked freedom the learnings bower refers to a garden see the word here is learnings bower nor certain learnings bower means that refers to the garden where the child can be taught in an interesting way only if nature accompanies him instead of the school teacher how can the bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing how can a child when fear annoy but droop his tender wing and forget his youthful spring very beautifully said that again the poet compares a child with a bird according to his view a bird which is born cheerful and fun loving can never sing sweet song if caged similarly a child if remain under the umbrella of annoying fear and tension the distract of his teacher can never enjoy the natural instincts of joy and playfulness indeed a world world full of rigid codes of discipline with ruthlessly take away the beautiful spring spring here refers to the childhood days of a person's life so the child wants to say that these all things will one day destroy my child hurt oh father and mother if buds are nipped and blossom blown away and if the tender plants are stripped of their joy in the springing day by sorrows and care dismay how shall the summer arise in joy or the summer fruits appear now the child is complaining to father and mother that oh father and mother the boy complains to the highest authority nipped means pinched sharply and tender tender means innocent or kind and dismay again means distress the boy complain to the highest authority to the father and mother who is your highest authority father and mother at home if a budding child growing child is picked and swept off in the early stage of life in such a way in an ocean of sorrow ocean of sorrow here refers to that school where there is no one to care for if unhappiness and crushes the sensitive plants beautiful and the new born bird summer can never be joyful so the what child wants to say that child wants to say that my childhood it's spoiled when you send me to school so students the first stanza describe the delight of waking up to the birds singing and what a marvelous way this is to start the day the next stanza uh, however contrast with verse one by one describing how worries the school boy is to be at school and how the thought of his stops his happiness immediately and next other stanza describes us that to school how when home school you can sit happily and read at home at school there is no freedom so because of this the child feels bore and school cannot delight him and in stanza 4 he compares a good boy at the school to a bird in a cage his potential is restrained and in other stanza last stanza he says that how people are dismayed at school and how students are stripped of their joy and all these things spoil the spring of life that is the life of childhood times and finally stanza says that school can never be fun but it is like a cold winter day blasting through the warm summer so students this was the poem the school boy here we ends with the poem thank you.